So in my earlier post, I forgot to mention probably the most hilarious part about traveling to Saskatoon today. Um, so last night, uh, Jack and I stayed up pretty late doing laundry, and it was well needed. Um, so you know, it made sense, but we both stayed up quite late. It was probably three or four before we were both sound asleep, and we had to be up at 7.30 and get ready for a uh, 10 a.m. flight out of Edmonton. And by the time we get to the airport, we're both kind of delirious, and we got through security, and we went to Booster Juice, which is like Jamba Juice here in this, in, well, Booster Juice is Canada's Jamba Juice, basically. And uh, I remember ordering my Booster Juice and uh, considering getting a Brain Boost, which is, uh, it's like ginkgo and some other stuff, which apparently helps boost brain function, but... I said, oh, I'm going to be sleeping soon anyway, so it's not really going to matter. Well, it probably would have helped if I had had it. So I'm convinced I have the tickets in my hand, and I'm convinced that the gate we need to go to is 46. Well, it's pretty simple because there are two wings in the Edmonton Airport, one with gates 1 through 49 and the other with 50 through 70. So we go looking for gate 46. Well, there is no gate 46. It goes gate 49 and then gate 18. So I asked one of those credit card saleswomen, um, like, where do I go? I'm looking for gate 46. And she's like, are you sure you're gate 46? I'm like, I'm, or, or gate 40, uh, I was gate 48, rather. Gate 48, and, and, and she's like, are you sure? There's no gate 48. So maybe maybe you got it wrong. I was like, oh, okay, well, I pulled out my ticket, and I look at it. Oh, 46. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I'll just go over that way. And, and so Jack and I started looking, and there's no gate 46. So we're starting to think that we're going to have to run through a pillar or something like platform nine and three quarters and uh jack's on the phone with his girlfriend and walks off without me down uh the wing 50 through 70 and right as he gets past me i asked the security guard i'm like hey i don't know where i'm i'm going like i'm supposed to be at gate 46 and he's like well, let me look at your ticket and he said this is your ticket from calgary to saskatoon <laughs> why don't you try your ticket from edmonton to calgary <laughs> and so sure enough it's gate 18 so i walk back well jack had lost me because he, he didn't notice that I had stopped walking with him. He turns around and asks the same security guard the same question. And the guy was like, yeah, someone just asked me that about 30 seconds ago. You just go that way. <laughs> so then we get up to the counter, and you have to show ID here at the airports in Canada um, when you're getting ready to board the plane. And so I have mine out and ready, and Jack's on the phone, so he kind of missed the memo. So he gets up there, and he pulls out his wallet, and he flips his room key onto the counter instead of his ID. And the woman... Obviously flattered, um, declined his offer and, and said, "You know, sir, I appreciate this, but you know, I'm going to need a form of ID." <laughs> oh, and so we finally get on the plane, and all is well. I'm sitting in row four. Jack is in row four, right across from me. And all of a sudden, this man comes up and says, "You're in my seat." To Jack, and Jack's like, "No, I'm row four. He's like, "Well, this is row five. So. Oh. Finally, we got on our plane in Edmonton, we got in the right seats, and we promptly fell asleep and uh, got some rest there and in the Calgary airport and then on our flight to Saskatoon, and uh, it was an eventful day. It has been a great day, and we're glad to be here, but it was so funny, and I had completely forgotten about it, but it was definitely worth uh, sharing. So anyway, uh, check back for some more videos soon. I'll definitely have some up.